And now for the most important thing, my Keurig machine. So for years I've always told people, those that drink coffee, they should buy a proper coffee maker for Pesach. Pesach is not the time to switch to instant, okay? If you're a coffee drinker, you know what I'm talking about, okay? You deserve a coffee maker. Spend money, buy yourself a nice coffee maker for Pesach. You get to use it not just for Pesach, it's like a week before Pesach, the kitchen is already kosher, and then you stop drinking instant coffee for a long time. So I've always said it's $15, $20, buy yourself a simple uh, basket brewer, and you can have coffee. Now, but I've never been home for Pesach before. That's what I've always told people. But now that I'm home for Pesach for the first year, I'm going to kosher my Keurig machine. There are different opinions about that. I think you can kosher it, and therefore I'm going to kosher it myself. Maybe I'm a little biased. Okay, how do you kosher a Keurig machine? Open up, open up the, the, the machine. The place where you put your, your K-cups can be removed. And this area here further removes. The buttons here on the side, I'm sure that every machine might be a little different. And then this, this here pulls out. So let's get some better light. So this area here, all this, oh, this whole area has to be cleaned. This whole course all has to be cleaned. After it's cleaned, these will be immersed in boiling water. You'll do Hagala on these areas, or even Erik Levishan could pour boiling water. The reason why you could just pour boiling water is because Kabbalah Kafbalatai, and the only way this was used is with water being hot water or coffee being poured through it. It's either Hagala or Iri. Now, let me just show you how this works. The K, the K cup goes in and you can see there's a piece of metal there, a tube, and that punctures the K cup and the coffee flows from there out the bottom. All this area here really never comes in contact with the actual coffee. This K cup goes in here. You see there's resistance. Because it goes, it gets punctured by that pin. So when you put the cake up in, you puncture it, and the coffee now comes in through the top. There's a pin that puts in water on the top. Coffee flows right through there, right out here. Really, that's the only place. All of this, the coffee only goes right here. So the only thing really that your coffee pours over is this little spot over here. So since the coffee we have, even if it's not Kasher le Pesach, it's not chametz, uh, and therefore, so long as on Pesach you're going to use Kasher le Pesach K cups, and there's a list of which, uh, which um, K cups are Kasher le Pesach, you would uh, Kasher these air, these uh, things here with Eric Levishan or Hagala. This uh, came right out over here. Make sure this part here is clean. You'll pour boiling water into this area here, and you'll splash water up this area as well. As you can see here, this is the pin that I was telling you. When you put the cake up in this pin punctures the cake up water goes into the cake up brews the coffee comes out on the bottom and then you have your coffee over here this pops back in this closes here and ready for a cup of kashula pesach fresh brewed cup of coffee